What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and it's early in the morning, but I'm bringing in this commentary because I do need to finish up the series. Um, after this, there will be two more, and this is the series uh, that relates to my class setup and analysis. Uh, this is the gameplay with the UMP, Rapid Fire and Silence, one of the best guns in the game. Actually, I say that about pretty much every gun I enjoy using, but this one is actually pretty good. And uh, it's one of the more common classes that I use that you'll see. But the way I use classes, obviously it's the UMP with silence and rapid fire, but you can get rid of the rapid fire and put on kick. So you can choose between clo more close range power but have some long range potential, or a more middle range power with lots of long range potential. And uh, that's the main difference between using rapid fire and not using rapid fire. And um, I love, especially when I play on dome, uh, I, I mean obviously it's very small map and I love running SMGs and shotguns, but uh, one of the most common SMGs I run on this map is the UMP, because uh, for some reason or not or another I always find success with it, like I very rarely do poorly with the UMP on this map. Um, I, I really can't think of a case, the only times I ever do really poorly on this map with the UMP is when I'm, I'm with any gun actually, is usually when I'm using a shotgun. Because um, I'm still trying to learn how to use them, but I did get one good gameplay with um, with a shot with shotguns on this map. It was a model 1887, and uh, you can look, hope to see that soon. But uh, tips for the UMP: um, you have to know the UMP is the slowest fire rate, um, firing uh, SMG out of all of them. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's got a three shot kill at close, five shot kill at range, very little idle sway compared to a lot of the SMGs, and it also it also is the only submachine gun that's usable at range for the most part. I mean, I talk about the PM9 all the time, but you're not going to get long shots with that gun. You're not going to really get long shots with the P90. Um, it's more of a, more plausible if you're using a PPM9, PP90M1. But and the MP7 is actually um, probably the most comparable with the UMP at range because it has such light recoil. And that's why that's why you have to choose. Do you want to? Because you're always going to get that mobility bonus, and that's one of the useful things about the UMP. But um, it, it's sort of, it's like I would say this is the closest thing to an assault rifle um, in the SMG category. Uh, I w it was similar to the way it was in Modern Warfare 2, except it was better than every assault rifle in the game. Because with stopping power, two shot kill close, three shot kill at range, and no recoil, and you get the mobility bonus and you get the raise time bonus and you get all these bonuses that maybe that was what made the UMP overpowered. Just everything about its stats. But luckily, it's not like that in this game. They did a great job of balancing it out without nerfing it. And uh, now I really enjoy using it. So, um, another thing you want to take control or uh, use your advantage when you're using the UMP, or any submachine gun for that matter, is the fact that uh, of how quickly you can walk without Stalker um, while aiming down sights. Um, with Stalker, you pretty much go faster than you would with, um, wait, wait, this is actually pretty sweet, I got a nice little triple feed right there. Um, but with, um, with any SMG, you get a very quick, um, bonus, uh, like walking bonus when you're aiming down sights, because it doesn't slow you down that much. Um, and the reason they do that is to give the SMGs, like, that close range advantage, because you don't get it on assault rifles and LMGs and, uh, snipe rifles, because, um, Strafing is a really good way to pick people off at range, but SMGs aren't meant for range, so they, um, they gave them something that helps a lot in close range engagements, but uh, takes away from their long range capabilities. And um, that's half balancing and half, um, half basically just setting apart the uh, submachine guns from the rest of the guns and making them really good at close range. But um, another thing that you want to keep in mind is your secondary weapon, because uh, the UMP, while it is slow firing and it does have a decent amount of ammo, uh, you'll find with rapid fire you'll run out pretty quickly, because uh, it is, uh, with rapid fire, it's sort of a spray and pray gun, but not really. And I was so confused here, I didn't know what a trophy system was at that time, so uh, I just kept uh, chucking stuns and hope of hitting something, but um, that was kind of funny. Anyway. Uh, so you do want to keep in mind of your secondary, and you've already seen I'm using the MP9 with a silencer, which is my favorite secondary machine pistol in the game. Uh, my favorite pistol so far is the 5.7 with a silencer, mainly due to its ammo capacity. And launchers, I enjoy the XM25, which uh, I'm still trying to get a full gameplay with just using it, 
Because um, it's kind of like a gun, it's not really a launcher. But it really comes down to preference. A lot of people like the FMG um, Akimbo, but prefer preferably with this class, it's sort of like a stealthy class, which is why I'm running the specialist kill streaks. Uh, obviously, you don't start out with Assassin, but you pick it up after one kill, which makes it really useful. Because um, it, it's like one kill, and boom, now they don't know where you are. You have a silencer, so they didn't know where you are before, and there's no way of finding you after. And um, after after Assassin, I use Scavenger, because that's when, about when you run out of ammo with this gun. And uh, you don't want to rely on your machine pistol, but you do want to have it there in case, because it is extremely viable. But um, you see right here, like I'm trying to pick the guy off at range, and I just can't get to him. Um, but that, these are things you need to keep in mind, because you don't need to run Specialist, but I think it helps a lot with this particular class, because I'm not... Uh, while I used to run kill streaks all the time, uh, I prefer now to be able to stay alive and just pick up lots of people's kill, um, pick up lots of kills with as many advantages as possible. And here you know, I, I can just blatantly see people spawning as I pick up a nice triple kill. Uh, another thing about the UMP, which is sort of random and probably doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I have more triple kills with this gun than any other thing in the game. Like, more triple kills with the UMP than the Predator Missile, more triple kills with the UMP than any LMG or spray, other spray weapon, and it's kind of weird. Um, especially during the, beginning, during the beginning of the game, there is a point where like five games in a row I just pick up triple kills. And it's sort of unexplainable, and I think it has something to do with the fact that it shoots pretty slowly and it's controllable. Um, but that's the end of the gameplay, so t if, if there's something you want to keep in mind, Silencer is a very good option. Um, the range, two attachments, kick, they're all great options as well. Um, you, I suggest specialist kill streaks, but you can use anything else. Um, you want a good secondary machine pistol to fall back on, and you can switch that out for anything that you prefer. But uh, if you like this, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next commentary, which will be about whatever.